Alright. You don't want to be on camera? No? You're on camera. No? You don't want to say hi? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog. It is Saturday morning, almost 9 o'clock. I'm watching the rest of Karate Kid right now. Rocking the All Valley hoodie. I know, right? How 30, 40 years ago. Anyway, today we have a big workout day and that means a bigger eating day. Now, we recently did an update of our uh, calorie intake and our full day of eating type thing. So today is an updated full day of eating just for you. So as soon as I get ready to start making breakfast, I will bring you into that. And then we have a swim and then a bike run brick workout today. So it's a big workout day, so I'm gonna eat big today. Let me finish watching this movie and I'll get back to you when we get to meal number one. All right, so I'm about to cook breakfast. It's about 9.25, Karate Kid, the first movie is over. Step number two is on TV, but I'm not really focused on that. I'm not gonna watch those today. Anyway, what you got behind me, gonna angle this down a little bit, there you go. You can see is going to be breakfast. Now you don't have to see me cook anything, but I'm gonna show you the final products. Now, what we've done differently now than we did the first full day of eating, it's first full day of eating, I was doing eating between 2300 and 2600 calories. After New Year's, I realized that wasn't enough at the time because workouts were getting a little bit more intense, so in order to fuel the workouts a little bit better, I needed more food, and mostly in the way of carbs. So what we've done over the last few weeks is we've increased our calorie intake from 2,300 to 2,600, so that, that range, to 2,600 to 3,000 calories a day. And I'm still kind of slowly dropping some weight, so I'm still slightly in a deficit, more in a deficit on heavier days than lighter days. This week's been a lighter week, but this weekend is gonna be pretty heavy considering what we went through last week. So, for breakfast, I've increased my oatmeal from 40 grams to 80 grams, and I'm still adding one scoop of base salts in there for extra sodium and other electrolytes to just kind of make sure that I'm, you know, obviously topped off uh, before the long, long day of workouts. While that's cooking, I'll probably eat my Power Crunch protein bar, which I absolutely love eating. Those are so good, but I hear Power Crunch Plus protein bars are a thing, and they're better than the original ones. Um, I've got 60 grams of sliced turkey meat. I'm gonna slice it up. I'm just gonna cut it up, add it to my uh, eggs, or my spinach when I cook it. One whole egg. I've got 160 grams of egg white, 160 milliliters of egg white, grams of egg whites. Uh, however you want to measure it, uh, 160. Normally I would eat about 148 to 150 grams of egg whites, but this was just about done. So I topped it all off. And then we'll take whatever spinach we can throw into the pan and cook it. So you don't need to see me cook it. You've probably seen 100,000 people cooking eggs and breakfast in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook this and I'll be back to show you the finished products and tally up the macros for this meal. And final product is right there. <clears throat> and we'll just top it with some sriracha. So this is meal number one. Uh, if you total it up, it is about 720 calories. Uh, macros are 66 carb, 25 fat, 56 grams of protein. So we are on our way to a perfect day. Um, Obviously, it's not going to end that way. I mean, the goal is still 200, about 200 grams of protein. Um, some fats, not a whole lot, like 30% of my day is going to be fat. And then whatever's left is probably going to be carbs. So I'm going to eat this. I'm going to go get changed. It's only 9.30. The pool doesn't open until 12 today. Um, so obviously, I'm not going to go there. But I do have to go run to the store first before we go to the pool. So I'm going to eat, get dressed, sit around for a little while. And then I'm going to head out to the store, get what I need to do, go to the pool at 12, and then come back for the brick. All right. So it is about 11.30 right now, and we are just heading to the pool. Um, I got to stop at the store real quick. I got to go to GNC because 
I've been out of just about every pre-workout flavor I've owned over the last few months. I've, I've basically used it all, used it all up in the last couple weeks, and uh, I don't have any Energize. It's on the way, but it's not here yet. <clears throat> and maybe I should cool it on the pre-workout on the multiple workouts per day thing. Um, but I I need to go back and forth and alternate again. Um, so yeah, so I got to go to GNC pick up new pre-workout before the pool. And then before the bike, so I should have energized it over this next week, and then, uh, but yeah, so I gotta do. I just gotta go. I'll talk about the the pool workout when we get actually to the pool. A few moments later. All right, guys. So I just got back from. I just got done with GNC. I bought me another tub of Ghost Sour Watermelon pre workout. I was kind of needing some because I just don't. Fit. Today's just like a day. I'm just. I just. I'm not feeling today's workout. Uh, I'll get on the bike no problems, but the swim the swims always one that makes me like eh, Like I really just I don't love swimming because I mean like and it's a pain in the ass for me to get to a pool every every day It's like 20 minutes across town each way It's just that that's probably the biggest frustration with me and swimming is that it's at a facility and I have to go across town I can't just do it in my house. So Anyway, I'm like 10 minutes. I'm five minutes from the pool. That's why I'm still here in the park Anyway, but since it is a full day of eating video, uh, I grabbed me a little quick snack before I got in the water, a little protein wafer, uh, optimum nutrition. It's 15 protein, 15 grams of protein, 14 grams of carbs, 210 calories. Uh, there's 10 grams of fat in this, but whatever. Uh, I have enough cardio today where none, most of the extra stuff that I eat, typically not on plan, isn't really going to be a, a, a factor. Uh, like I said, I have 90 minute bike ride and then a 45 minute run immediately after. So I've got enough calorie burning exercises today where I'm going to, you know, I'll be okay. But I, you know, I am eating this. You know, typically I would have another protein snack after between breakfast and lunch anyway. So this is going to hold me over until I get home and I can have uh, my next meal meal. So this is just a temporary fix. Um, but yeah, I'm going to eat this, take the pre-workout, head to the pool, and get my swim on. See you in a little bit. Alright, we're back at home, and it's time for meal number two. So we're going to go with you know, 8 to 10 ounces of almond milk. We're making a cookies and cream shake with banana some peanut butter. And then for a little extra food, because I'm, I'm kind of hungry. We are having a chicken patty on a hamburger bun with some ketchup. And I will total this up in just a sec. All right, so the macros for this lunch, I'm just gonna give you calories. I'm not gonna do the protein breakdown because that's just a lot of work. And quite honestly, I'm not really feeling it right now. But this meal is 780 calories. So with this and the, the protein wafers that I had earlier before the pool and breakfast, I've eaten so far 1,700 calories. And I still have dinner and whatever else I want to eat for the rest of the day. I have about 880 calories left. So, <clears throat> 880 calories until I hit my 2600. Now, again, it's a heavier day, so I'm going to probably go closer to 3000, so 2900 to 3000 calories. So, that still gives me between 800 and 1100 calories, maybe 1200 if I want to push the 3000 calorie mark. Now, later, I'll probably have a protein shake, uh, especially uh, coming off the bike run. Uh, I'll probably have a protein shake just to kind of get some more protein, some a little bit of carbs with that. And then whatever we have for dinner, I think my wife said she's making some like beef enchilada something, I don't know. Um, I'm probably not even going to be able to total the calories unless I build that meal together. But we'll see. Right now I'm going to go ahead and make this so I can eat and then get ready to go on the bike. 90 minute bike ride, 45 minute run immediately after that. So. It's gonna be a fun chilly brick session as it's only 48 degrees outside right now. So let me go ahead and eat. I'll see you later. All right, so we're about to start a 90 minute bike ride followed by a 45 minute run. It's a nice little brick workout. It's cold, so I'm wearing my jacket so I can go right there. I got my shoes over there. Uh, we're gonna watch a movie on uh, Disney Plus. Got Zwift logging in now. Everything is connecting. Heart rate monitor is on here. And uh, yeah, so it's just a matter of let's do the damn thing because I'm tired. I'm ready to just be done. I think I can't have my watch. I can't have this stuff connected. 
prepared to it's like if it's paired to my watch I can't pair it to the computer All right, let me figure this out. I think I have to disconnect the power meter from my watch so that I can pair it to the computer. So I'm gonna get this run done, ride, and then I'll you know come back for the run. We'll talk about it and then go to meal three. Later that same evening. All right, hour and a half. Just got done with the bike. Gonna about about to put my shoes on and go for this 45 minute run. It's been about a minute already. I'm wasting too much time. My coach is gonna be mad at me. I'll see you after the run. All right, I am done with my workouts. And uh, it is six o'clock at night right now. Uh, let me just tell you, it's friggin' cold outside. So I really, let me just, I'm gonna go over these workouts. I still have to eat dinner and do that. I didn't eat anything that I didn't tell you about. So um, I'm gonna clean up, I'm gonna shower, get changed, get warm. My hands are frozen. Uh, I don't know how I did that wrong without gloves. But I did, and I regret every second of it. So I'm going to change, going to thaw out, going to warm up, probably sit down for dinner in a little bit, go over what I had for dinner, go over the workouts, and then end this video. Because I just want to relax, kick my feet up on the couch, in front of a fire, and watch some TV. So we're here for dinner. We're calling it a beef tamale casserole. So I don't know calorie count, calorie restriction, serving sizes or anything. But essentially it is the Jif corn mix, 93% uh, ground beef, uh, cheese, and a can of corn with some other like enchiladas sauce and taco seasoning. Um, it looks really, really good. But I had 1,100 calories going into the day or going into this meal before, and that's without even counting the workout calories I burned. 1200 during the actual workout and then four or five hundred during the swim. I'll cover that after I eat dinner um, But yeah, I'm gonna eat this and this is gonna be dinner uh, again. I don't know where I'm at, but I have room so That's dinner All right <clears throat> Let's go over today's workouts today was a big big day of workouts first we did a 2,900 yard swim. Uh, took us about an hour. Garmin says an hour, but you know, I guess working time was 57 minutes, 15 seconds. Uh, average pace, according to Training Peaks, what was recorded, moving pace, and so on, with you know just active act uh, activity, uh, 159 per hundred, a minute 59 per hundred, not bad. 550 calories burned, roughly, uh, and that's an estimate because I don't wear heart rate monitor in the pool. All right, so. Not a bad day. I felt that one. That one was exhausting, uh, just because it was the way the, the I, I just set with four by five hundred, uh, so four times five hundred yards, and just each one was a different uh, amount of effort, and that one kind of sucked. Then we hit the bike. We came home. <clears throat> I had ninety minutes on the bike, so average speed. Yeah, it's it's all trainer stuff, so it doesn't really matter as far as speed goes. Uh, 900 calories burned, but my average power was 174, which is right in the middle of my zone two zone, 174 watts. Uh, average heart rate was 120, so it was like really low. Like my on the bike, my heart rate stays between 120 and 130, which is really really solid. Um, I know my coach is really happy with that. I'm really happy with that. My cardio is just my, my endurance is really picking up. At least my cardiovascular endurance, whatever. Uh, three minute, three three ten transition because I had to run through the house and get get the jacket on, and then we did a forty five minute bike or a forty five minute run. Sorry, <clears throat> uh, burned five hundred eighty nine calories. Average pace was ten twenty eight per mile. It was cold. My hands were colder than anything on that run. Um, I should have brought gloves, but they were. I don't know where they are right now. Um, average heart rate on the run one forty one. So that's pretty solid. Um, you know, I think. The goal for heart rate for the bike is going to be between 120 and 130. On the run, it's going to be 140 to 150. So that's what we're trying to trying to maintain. Even if you look at if you follow other endurance runners that talk about the Maffetone method, it's 180 minus your age would be your max heart rate. My max heart rate would be 140. So 141 is right, even perfect with with the Maffetone method. So all in all, 
Today was a tough day of workouts. Tomorrow is going to be even tougher. Uh, I don't even want to get into tomorrow's workouts yet. Mentally, I'm not, I'm not even trying to think about them. Uh, today, I, you know, again, I feel good. We can wrap up and say that dinner was around 800 something calories. So I still have three hundred, three to two to three hundred calories. Let's say two to three hundred calories left. I'll probably have a snack later. Maybe I don't know. I might just fall asleep. I'm, I'm exhausted. So. I'm good with where, where I am today. So 800 calories puts me at like 2,700 for the day. Um, and because I couldn't calculate dinner, I can't calculate mac, you know, fats, carbs, and, and proteins today. But that's, I mean, if I, if I do the same thing for breakfast and lunch and snacks, that leaves so much room for dinner. And, you know, I'm not really, with, with big days like today, I'm not really focused on, okay, well, I can only have 800 calories I don't really care that much, okay? If uh, I'm gonna lose weight just because the amount of calories I burn, I burn 1,100 calories today, just during the bike and the run. So we figure 1,700 calories with the swim. So that was all my workout calories today. That was almost what I ate for breakfast, lunch, and snack. So I'm burning the. I'm gonna burn the energy. I'm gonna utilize that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do what I have to do. But roughly, that's where we're at. That's how we're eating for right now. I don't see myself going above 3,000 calories for the next 11 weeks or so. Um, and I say 11 weeks because we, tomorrow, this is basically finishing up week 11 of training. Um, and if you you look at the 25 week schedule, week 25 is race week, so I'm definitely not going crazy with that. I'll probably eat about that much then. The two weeks prior to that is are likely going to be taper weeks. Now, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing they're going to be taper weeks. Three weeks prior from race day. So if you're 25, 24, 23 are all light, light weeks. Week 22 is going to be peak week. So if this is week 11, we have 11 weeks until peak week. That's going to be the biggest volume week of training. Um, so I have... 11 more weeks of eating. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to get above 3,000 calories, but you just never know. If I do, I'll make another updated a full day of eating uh, and talk about it just to kind of show you what, I, what I've done and how I've increased calories. Guess what? It's probably going to be carbs. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to end this video here. Like I said, I'm going to go probably start a fire on the, the fireplace, watch some TV with my wife because I haven't really seen her all day. I've been working out.